Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem Conquest Lunatic. So this is the fifth episode of this paralogue, and it's going to be the last one. I am saying that up front because if I can't beat it this time, I'm just going to have to accept uh, that I need to do this in a different order. Even though, even though when I look at this chapter, I think, gee, this looks easier than the actual story mission, the fact remains that this has been, this has taken me much longer and has proven much more difficult than uh, any of the main story missions so far. So obviously my assessment of the difficulty is incorrectly calibrated. Um, but I'm gonna give myself one more shot at this before I bail, um, because I'm stubborn and yeah, that's, that's pretty much the reason. Okay, so um, before I get started, I guess one thing to note is that I did get a couple of, like, uh, what do you call them, Surge stat surges. So Selena got some defense and maybe luck. Yeah, I think luck. Uh, the defense, obviously, more relevant. And then uh, Jacob got strength and magic. Um, so that certainly won't hurt. It certainly will not hurt. Alright, so to lead things off here, just to make sure, actually, you know what, I'm just gonna do all this turning on range stuff now. We're gonna go back to the strategy that I used the time when I was like one hit away from completing the map, which is uh, specifically to um, have the team stay split and to pull the enemies in different directions. Anyway, um, so what I wanted to do is have you flip that. Equip this. And... You would be able to make follow-up attacks, so let's actually have you equip the Iron Dagger. And... So we've got the one guy with the javelin who we know we're not going to kill in enemy phase, but um, as I recall, so 25, 13 times 2, and especially if you have Camilla's you know, support. So I'm going to put... Oh, well, not, not Camilla's, but uh, Jacob's, what I'm saying. Um, I'm expecting Corrin to enemy phase all of these guys again, which I think is what has happened. Or I guess maybe hand axe is not actually correct though. Maybe you should just go with this. Because the javelin guy goes after you, which he probably won't, whatever. Then we want Selena here. I think that's what we want. It's like this. And then over here. Do this thing. And... 
Oh, he's going after Jacob. Hi. Okay, so... <laughs> whoops. I must have had my positioning slightly different last time to where they didn't do that. The problem with... not trying to... Makes the thunder look pretty bad too, actually. Okay, this is the problem with not playing kind of all at once, taking breaks in between as I don't remember exactly what I did the last time. So I guess we don't actually need you up here, so we could s what do I do? Uh, swap and switch mean the same thing, which is confusing 100% of the time. Alright. So we don't actually want you to have... I we just give you the Iron Axe, I guess. Yeah, and they won't be able to get to Jacob from over there. Right, I remember this now. Having Selena back here is not really ideal. Um, I think it's okay, though. We do it that way. Recollection is that that did work out. between groups like this. Oh, you know what? Now I'm rem remembering that maybe it's actually possible for Korn to die there if she gets hit because of the combination of sealed defense and... Oh, or maybe she can just die as it is. I could swear that I had a setup where Korn was doing the enemy phasing and that was fine, but I guess not? Um... Or maybe I'm supposed to leave Jacob paired into her? Maybe that was it. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be trying to do this from memory. I should probably be trying to, like, calculate it again, but... I mean, if she has the Jacob paired, she does get strength from it. That probably is... ...what I should be doing. If I understood the AI targeting and like why they go after Corrin versus not, that would help. Probably anyway. Actually, she has the same attack? This way, oh, probably because was calculating it when she was paired up before. But she is getting the plus three from Camilla, so even if Weapon Triangle would otherwise mess up that, it should be fine. Okay. 
Yikes. But we'll get there. We'll get there. So it would, she wouldn't be able to kill without the without the uh, Camilla bonus. One short. Okay. Finally, didn't screw it up, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and do this thing again. Ooh. Okay. So... Not quite enough. Corn switches to Dragonstone. Still nine damage. Okay. So that's not ideal. And Corn can't kill. Why? Oh, because she won't be connected to Camilla anymore. Right. So if Camilla kills this guy and lunges, we can... Well, although you can't do anything in that situation. We need to get Baruch out of the way. Switch these two. It's like Kaze could attack from here too. I guess he could attack from up here. That is a kill, actually. Yeah, okay. Could do. Could could have Camilla. But I'd rather... Mm. Oh, right. I can use the hand axe. 18. It would need 9. That's actually one short. Steel axe would do it, though. So what we could do is have Camilla... Hit this guy. That sets up a kill... I promise Selena still can't get there. I mean, the, the idea was that Baruka kills this guy, Corrin fin finishes this guy, but Selena can't actually kill this guy. So she 
just so close to being able to. It's really annoying. Okay, alternatively... Actually, no, this makes more sense. Well, no, because then she gets her defense sealed, which I don't want. I was going to say, alternatively, she... She hits this guy, but then, yeah, she gets her defense sealed. That's what I'm trying to avoid, is having anybody else get their defense sealed. What it? If Baruka... How much damage do you do to this guy with a steel axe? 21, so that's like 10. Baruka would do 17, so that is a kill. So we could have... Baruka kill this guy, and Selena just doesn't get to do anything. That works if we have Camilla kill, say, this guy. But then... I guess Baruka could kill this guy right now. We're gonna do that. Oops. Then Camilla kills one of those guys, and Corn kills the other. Problem with that... How do we get the Camilla support up there? Let's see how that happens. See how that happens. If Baruka attacks from here, then no, that doesn't help because Corrin is paired up. Yeah. Alternatively, Corrin takes one more turn of having her defense sealed, and Selena gets this kill, and then we can send these two up here. Maybe that makes more sense. Maybe that makes more sense. Um, let's go Iron Axe here and then you get. 18 damage. Would need to go with the Steel Axe, but accuracy is high there, so that should be fine. Alright, I think that's the play. We go with the Dragonstone. How much damage can you do? Oh, well, you can attack with Baruka. Okay, yeah, so I think we go with the Dragonstone. For accuracy. Okay. 
play here. I no longer remember. Um, I know it involved, like, we come up here, we dance, we kill... This is a mountain, right? So if we kill these two guys, we split and drop, and we have protection against the third guy. Do you have the firepower? You do. And then, oh right, I remember. So we want to move Odin first because... Your hit rate with that 90%. Yeah, I think we're fine. I just leave you on the iron wheel for this. Uh -huh. Alright, given how much difficulty I've been having with this chapter, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, now we got. Perfect damage. I knew there was some reason I was supposed to set up like this, I just didn't remember what it was. Oh wait. I screwed this up. No, I didn't. Okay, it's fine. to switch to Arthur just because, you know. But. But it was fine. Odin kill? Odin kill. I do enjoy how this guy lunged Arthur, like, into a better position. It's helpful. I don't know if it's relevant. He actually cares about that extra point of movement, but it is... Hey. It feels helpful, put it that way. I guess we'll dance for... Odin... start baiting those guys next turn, I think. So for now... Actually, let's just move you up here. Okay, so who... Do we want to bait them with? We do have one with a hand axe. Um, does this thing work even if you're making a ranged attack? I guess it does. Yeah. So, like, paired up Corrin. Okay, we did burn our shield gauge, so we don't have that up. 
Oh, and you also have minus defense. Yeah, never mind. Camilla, I know, is a reasonable option. Selena with the 15 defense, maybe two, although... The problem is she can't, like, actually counter-kill anything. She's got 18 defense with this thing. Maybe with Camilla's help she can. 22... 7 times 2... No. Um... 14... Maybe that's become 16. She would still need, like, 11 damage. There's no way. Is there... Because Camilla doesn't do enough with... Yeah. But then again, with plus 3 per hit, 25... So 11 times 2? Yeah, actually, I think that is... That does look like it should be a kill. Uh, there's not... I mean, I guess we could put her on the mountain, to Get her an extra 2 defense. They should still attack her. Get up to 21 defense. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. So we go... Camilla. Now we need to figure out how much... Are you getting a strength bonus? What? No! Ah, not that. No, you're not. Okay, so you're gonna do 33... Well, you need to do 6. Which means you need to do 12, which means you need to do 27, which... Either that or... 16... Minus three is 13, halved is... Yeah, okay, so you can do it with the Thunder, which is probably better. Accuracy and weapon triangle. Okay. Um, so this is the mountain tile I think we want to target. I mean, we could go further in, I suppose. There's not really any reason we can't. We go all the way up here, even... Although, if we want to make sure they're attacking Selena and not Camilla, I guess then we don't want to do that. Right. Alright, and then everybody else should just stay more than two squares away from Selena, which should be easy enough. Uh, you go... It's here... Here, you go here, Corrin can heal up for another turn, and then over here we've got these three calves who don't have ranged weapons, and 25 attack, 22 attack, 22 attack, you, or uh, Arthur does not have firepower to one-shot them, as I recall. 39, which he is not getting to. Effie does have that with her personal skill, so... So we go... Oh, what about... So she's got 17 defense, which means they can all deal damage to her. Okay, even if she's next to Elise. Let's put Elise... Oh, wait. No, Demwiz only applies to melee units. Right.
that didn't apply to Camilla? Not sure I understand. What's foes within two spaces of the attacker? Oh. I did not realize that. Did I discover that in one of the previous episodes and then subsequently forget? It's definitely possible. Okay, so... Yeah, now we got these... Sword dudes coming in. My recollection... Well... I mean, they're obviously not attacking at the mountain, so if we want to... Like, do something like this, that'll be fine. That is actually a kill, wow. Good stuff. Alright, I'll, I'll go with that. And then we do have this one tile space here where we can counter just this one guy. Um do that with Kaze. He does double. Selena does not. Corin does. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Kaze for this. Here's the other question. Can he kill while paired up? Oh, the Steel Shuriken... Minus three... Yeah, he has to equip... Weapon. means he's got less attack, which means almost certainly he's not killing that way. So maybe we should lead with Corrin. I mean, if we have Camilla in range, we have Camilla, like, here. Um... Uh... We... We'll get plus three attack. 21 twice. Still doesn't kill. You paired up. You give him plus 3 strength? Whoa. So now we're talking about 24 times 2. That is a kill. Okay. I'm down for that. Also, he's got plus 1 speed now, which means that he does double with the Steel Shuriken. Does that have a higher hit rate? No, in fact, it gives him a slightly less avoid as well. Alright, um... We are going to want to heal Selena. You plop over here. Alright, so then over here... Do the whole dance for Arthur, put him on the mountain thing. Um, we want to 
piece next to him. This guy's got lunge, but he's also the one that doesn't have armored blow, so he just dies. Arthur here. Please here. You here, I guess. So, we are now in range of some extra units. It might be time to fall back. Um, And you don't have a range weapon, and obviously these guys don't. So we should be able to put Kaze on the fort just fine. And screen him. And the question is okay, this guy has lunge. But these guys are pretty far from being able to threaten. So if we, like, put corn here... Um... I think... I mean, I guess it's possible that... 17... But she will get some extra defense from Jacob. It'll actually be 14 and 9, which means she will survive. Okay. So yeah, let's... Do that. And that. And then... here I could Let's stick Selena on the mountain again they probably just won't go for her if I do though I'll put her here you go back here Meanwhile, we should have, yeah, easy kill for Odin. reason. We are going to ultimately work our way up this left side. Um, oh, you can get all the way up to here? Okay. Good. So there's not much reason not to let Odin attack here. I'm 
just for XP. I think I will go ahead and give the kill to Niles. Let you guys move a little bit further forward. account for that splash damage. Okay, so... Maybe I should have just tried to make sure that it was Selena at the end that... there. We can double up the Steel Shuriken. Is that because he leveled speed? I think it is because he leveled speed. Yeah, okay. Uh, so if we set him up... guys you can okay so ideally we have corn one around this guy and then this guy cannot her. so given that we can do that well maybe maybe we have selena kill this guy and then she's the buddy for kaze killing this guy might make more sense, actually. Yeah. to one round this guy you would although it's a little bit dubious but if we have corin up there then it won't be so we can have corin one round this guy no you weren't supposed to miss So bad. It's a ninety-three percent. Oh my god! Now Kaze dies. Maybe. I mean, Camilla can, or Corn dies, or somebody dies. Somebody dies. I mean, I guess Corn could dodge, but that seems unlikely. Oh my god! Damn it, man! We can kill two of them, but we can't kill three. I mean, this guy's more likely to miss... Corrin, for sure. I don't know about Kaze. We can't screen Kaze. That much is sure. We switch short into the Dragonstone. It's plus four defense. Fourteen. No, okay. Great. Just freaking great. Wait. What about Jacob? Jacob gives her minus three damage taken. So... Oh, it's effectively 17 defense, so effectively 27 HP. Okay, she so would actually survive against this guy. So one option would 
be... Or she would survive against this guy as well. Um, well, that's true either way, actually. Um, the problem is that this guy kills Kaze. Oh, man. It's only because the frickin' splash damage, too. Put Camilla next to Kaze. He's still, like I said, one. Where do you want to avoid with this? He'll have more with one of these because he's got. Although that actually doesn't make sense because he's got more speed. He should have more avoid. Oh, it's avoid minus five on the weapon itself. This guy didn't have a Worm Slayer. Obviously, I would leave him alive, but... Man. <laughs> I think we have to rely on Kaze dodging. I don't see... Like... I mean, we could go... Like, Kaze has to dodge either way. I guess, I guess this guy is more likely... To miss Kaze too, even with weapon triangle. No, that's not true because it's a double. It's a double effect. But but we can't leave this guy alive, right? Because the Worm Slayer has actually has higher accuracy. One seventeen against forty four versus ninety five against thirty three. I guess ninety five against thirty three is. better. Yeah. Uh, which runs into the problem. That. We are by no means actually guaranteed to kill the other guy. And in fact, we can't switch Kaze's weapon. Wait, why did I just do that? I was supposed to kill... Alright, I guess it's against this guy then. Uh... These are e equal avoid weapons, I guess. Oh, that's so aggravating. Alright, well, assuming we don't lose here... We want to bait the calves or the guys over here. The problem with the guys over here is that they've got this, like... This guy with the sealed defense and the javelin that we can't really counter kill. I guess what we want to do is... Bait him with like Niles. Niles might actually be able to counter kill him. I believe it to be possible. turn now because I don't I want Elise to be in range we can also put him on the uh, on the mountain I guess maybe not not easily though rather not in range of anybody not not next to Elise I don't actually know if I want him next to Elise Part isn't totally clear to me. Because I don't want him... I want him to be attacking with somebody, right? God 
damn it. <laughs> uh. We had to do is hit at ninety three. to do over here. Oh, and we've got this. It's cool how the options don't get stored if you restart the chapter. That doesn't make any sense, honestly. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that, because now I can't have Kaze attack this guy. Though I can have Selena. Yeah, now I have regrets. Having, well... Okay, Kaze could kill this guy. switch them. Not Selena can't do anything. <laughs> eh. <laughs> yeah, this was... I screwed this up. 
There's no way for Corn to get this kill without switching out Jacob, which doesn't work. Ah. Uh... Definitely screwed this up. I mean, I guess this guy being alive is not really the end of the world. Or this guy, for that matter. I bet if I... That's not a kill. Uh, is it a kill if you have... Iron Axe, you get one more attack. 27, but it's actually 30, which is 15. Which halved is 7. But you're doing 9? What? I'm confused. Wait, what am I... I so even accounting as the defense there. Never mind. What am I talking about? Um, that's not how you calculate this. Uh, you don't just have the attack. Alright, so right now you're doing 20, 29, is 12, is 27. No, 17. Oh, that can't be right. Oh, no, plus 1 is 30. Minus 12 is 18, halved is 9. So if you add 1, it does not change the damage total. Which means we do not have the firepower to kill this guy. Um, which I would prefer to do because he has a job one. So, fine, I guess we just do this. It could be leapfrogging here, but I don't think it actually accomplishes anything. If Azura was in range, then getting that heal in would be nice, I suppose, but it's not the case anyway. could actually do the Selena go up there and bait the wyverns thing right now. I was gonna say let's give her this kill, but I think I think I'm actually gonna give it to Baruka. And then have Selena Probably like 
that. They're actually not doing any damage. Why are they still attacking? That's interesting. I guess it's because of Savage Blow. Right, as I recall, this was pretty effective. Yeah. If we pair Kaze up here, we can heal him before dropping him off over here. Let's say if we go into Corrin. Does have the downside that Selena can't. I guess we can grab this vulnerary though. I was gonna say can't heal. But we'll just do that. Oh, we aren't supposed to use the steel shirt in though. I do recall this. I mean, let me... I should double check. We have 21 attack. But actually 24 attack. Which means, yeah. are here sooner than expected. What happened? What happened? I don't know that it necessarily matters. So we can just do this and let the other two run into us. Although the wyverns are going to be here early. What did happen here? I don't know. You might... Mm, depending on where they go... This could be an issue. I'm confused. There must be a... Did I wander into a trigger zone with Odin or something? It must be something like that. So these guys should still, you know, run into Effie and die. These guys are going to be anywhere from, like, over here to over here. I think the ideal case... would be that they're right around here. We can shoot one with Odin, dance, shoot another one, and then kill one with Arthur. Maybe? I mean, we might not be able to reach. But if there's just one left at the end of the turn, it won't really be a big deal anyway. So I think what I'm going to try to do here is... I have Odin fall all the way back to here. I'm going to put Niles all the way up here. Um, and then we're going to pull... Azura, like, here, and Elise here. The idea is that hopefully they'll, that'll shift them leftward. I don't know if it'll actually work, but... Remain 
main call. Five damage because we didn't have police in range this time, and they did not pay attention to my request here. Uh, I think. Yeah, we're gonna have a problem because Azura probably gets one shot. I guess she doesn't get one shot by the guy with the iron axe if we pair a defender into her. So annoying. Although maybe we don't even have to do that. Maybe we can... If we didn't have Effie in the lead here, that would help a lot because we could run Arthur up onto here and he would actually be able to kill this guy. He can't double with a hand axe though. That being said... We might actually be able to get a kill with Arthur plus Odin. So what if we... Oh, especially if... I guess this has got... This has got to be more likely to kill. Especially if we move Niles to here. Well, as long as we're doing that, we might as well... twice. I'd really prefer better. But... Actually kill with the iron bow, so I'm gonna leave the steel bow equipped. All right. Too much. All taken care of. the same basic situation over here. I would like to do this time is get Camilla in range of Corrin. I think the way to do that... Is she going to be at risk of dying? Just... 15... and 12, which is actually going to be 13 and 9. Oh no, not if she's next to, to Camilla. She'll be fine if she's next to Camilla. this side. Although, we, I mean, I guess we could go with... If that guy can get there too? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Not really anything I can do about it, though. She will get a shield gauge off, so I guess she's still not at risk of dying. This guy does not have lunge. So there should be no risk. I'm wondering about putting Camilla, like, here rather than back here. Yeah, I think I want... I think I want you here. 
and then it's gotta be better to have Barrica over here than. Although I maybe maybe Selena will pair with Kaze anyway. I don't know. Whatever. Should be fine to go right here. Yeah, okay, so they go for Selena. Arrgh. Well, that's good. On the other hand, oh, they don't even go for Selena now. Surprising. Okay, so... Uh, you do not have shield gauge this up this time, so you're not going to be the pick to take out like one of these two. Because you would die to the counterattack. Actually, you wouldn't die to the counterattack on this guy. Never mind. Um... Still gotta be Kaze to take out one of these two for sure. Selena to kill this guy. I think Camilla killing this guy, and then maybe maybe lunging. I switch you to Dragonstone. Can you guys do this without Camilla taking any more damage? Yes, you can. this. Okay, okay, that's guaranteed, so not too concerned. That is only good enough. We could trade Selena a more accurate weapon. Or we could just use the steel shuriken. You do have damage, so I would prefer to use the steel bread. Three damage. We got seven. So bronze sword should be good enough. Yeah. And now we have a ninety seven percent chance to hit. Thank you. You don't have a 100% from the, this thing, do you? No. Alright, I'm not gonna do that then. Okay. Oh, 
Well, maybe... Yeah, this is probably better than actually... Dancing. Alright, so next group we want to engage is these Cavaliers, but we're definitely going to want some healing before we get that going. Um, you get the most value out of the fort. Put you on there. These guys decide to rush in when we engage this other group. That will mm, be not so good. I, I think I want to not engage this group yet. Give the other group a chance to heal up. Stay within two squares of Azura so you can get one HP back. that slows the attrition rate of the guard gauge? I'm not totally sure. Um... Yeah, let's give this another turn, I guess. You have C supports with all of these units. Um... So what we're ultimately gonna do... Is you're gonna go here. No, well... Let me actually test damage here. Oh, you just straight up kill this guy. Okay, yeah, then yeah, that is what we're gonna do. And we'll put we'll put Odin next to him. Um How bad is it gonna be if these guys rush in? How bad is it gonna be if everything starts rushing in? I think I think I wanna still wait for the healing. So Come up here. Alright, now, let's see, you get four, you get five. But we can full heal Baruka. have two charges of this heal staff left. And I'm a dummy because I don't I don't have extra in the convoy, I don't think. Yeah. So uh, Yeah, whatever. I'll just plan to use the on Kaze next turn. Alright, I think I'm ready. If they start rushing the right group, I think it'll be, like, it'll be fine. So, you go here. You go here. You go here. That'll reduce incoming damage. And... So you go... Here and you go here. Just to 
have Azura's well positioned as possible. else coming? Everything else is coming. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Maybe we can just stick Kaze on the fort this turn, though. So we got... Let's see... The Javelin Lunge guys... And the non-Javelin non-Lunge guys who... Okay, only one of them can get up here. So, like, probably what we want to do... It's going to be hard to kill the Javelin guys in the enemy phase. Maybe not impossible, though. Well, that's not representative damage. Actually, it kind of is. Like, she does one less than that if she's getting attacked, but Camilla is next to her. So she'd be doing 17, and then she'd need Camilla to be doing 10, which with a Steel Axe, she probably would. Yeah. Okay, so if we... Right. Javelin guys each get to this spot, which means we can put you here with a Hand Axe... And you here with the steel axe. Oh, what? Oh, this guy can get to here, but this guy can't? Because the freaking wood styles are so confusing. Alright, whatever. I want I want them attacking Veruca. So we do that. And then we let this guy run into somebody and this guy will live, and that's Kaze, back to here. Um, this guy... Can Corrin one round? No. Not even particularly close. Although he is in the woods, but... Um... You've got 23 attack that way. You've got 25 attack. Hmm. Another option is we don't engage this guy at all. I don't know that that makes so much sense, though. There's no way you're killing this guy. But you're actually doing more damage. Huh. And you have better mobility. Also good. With the Dragonstone. Hmm. If this guy could make it to here, and then we could have had Ruka here. Eh, no, I guess that wouldn't have mattered anyway. Dragonstone is definitely like min damage taken at least. I do kind of like. Oh, we could also separate. Maybe we do more damage. That might actually be the play. How much strength are you getting from the pair up? Three. So if you're using this, you're only doing you're doing nine times two, and Corrin isn't finishing. Corrin does get some strength as well. She gets two. Well, okay, it's, that's actually not quite true because of the woods. So you're doing 10 times two, and Corrin would need to do 14 damage, which she might be able to do with the Dragonstone, although, no. Okay. And then 
Orin is doing like eight, no, nine times two, which means she needs Jacob to do nine, which isn't happening either. Mm, okay, I think. I think what I'm actually gonna do then. Just go Dragonstone. Separate. And that way, with the Steel Dagger, we get some stat reduction on the guy as well. Might help. Okay, meanwhile, over here, we've got another Javelin guy that maybe Niles can on enemy phase. Not quite but close. And he survives two hits like that. It sure seems like he can. But this guy can't get as far anyway. And maybe that's preferable. Like, mm. Well, on the other hand, like nobody else can get up that mountain. We could basically. Well, I guess the issue is so this guy has lunge. We need. We would need to kill him. Um. Because otherwise, you know, we run into problems. Uh, if Niles runs back here and gets healed, we can definitely kill him. We don't kill this guy. Um, which is unfortunate because he's the one with sealed defense. If Niles is next to Elise, he kills this guy, but there's not a way to put him next to Elise while also getting, um, out of range of this guy for Elise. Or sorry, for out of the range of this guy. What we could do is run him back, heal him, dance for him, like pair him into, or a pair like Effie or Arthur into him, and then run him up there. The way we we would do this. Guess we could get, go all the way back there, and Elise can come come back here and give somebody to him, and he can I mean, go two squares down, he can go two squares up, back up. And this is a good spot because these two can't attack him from close range. And nobody else can get to him. Okay, I think that's the play. So we go back to here. Arthur comes back here. Transfers Effie to Elise. Elise transfers her to Niles. Heals him. Now it's quite likely, actually, that we... Let's see, how much strength is he getting from the pair up three? Well, I guess if... I guess if he needs to be able to kill... What is it about... Wait a minute. No, he didn't need strength. This guy was just in the woods. Okay, but this is fine. It, it it's, It'll increase his hit rate, and it means we can equip the iron bow. All right, 25 is 13 times 2. I should have looked at that. I, should, I don't know why I was willing to believe that they had different stats. Because they certainly do not. I think we want to give ourselves an avenue of retreat here, so I'm going to pull out in pretty far back. Nice. 
Oh, thank you, Jacob. That's very considerate of you. Wait, what? No, no! Did they do the thing where they don't attack Baruka again? Can I not account for that again? Is she? Does she really have that much defense? She has 21, effectively. I did the thing again. Oh my god, every time I overlooked that. Every time. Every freaking time. <sighs> now we've got, like, the lunge crap up here with the flyers. Okay, um... So this spot, right here... These guys, I guess, won't attack Baruka if she's over there. And I have to imagine that... You can kill this guy. So, like... We're gonna run into that problem again where we can't clear everybody out, though. Because this mountain tile is in the way. Yeah, like, Kaze cannot get away. Selena can't get away. we can do is like grab Selena and then have Baruka dump her back here and then put Camilla over here and then just like pair Kaze into her and don't unpair and pair Corn into Jacob. Um, I guess that all works. trade for the vulnerary too and then use it oh she has a vulnerary never mind um all right you can't yeah you can't get far enough otherwise Although, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, that guy hits. Yeah, maybe. Okay, I think. I think we might just be clearing out entirely and then trying, like, assuming the wyverns come straight down at us. to go into Camilla that isn't in range of the wyverns, which I think we want to avoid. So... What about Camilla fighting these guys? The problem is that these two have lunge. So like if Kaze goes into Camilla there and she's like fighting these guys. She doesn't do enough damage. She doesn't get to counterattack. 
So, it's annoying. But... We're gonna do it like this. Okay. We've got some flanking maneuvers going on here, which I don't appreciate. I think what we want to do now. This guy we can definitely kill with. Uh, Effie. These two can't get super far, so I think what we want to do is. Niles. Niles to here. Well. What I want to do is give Effie back to Arthur. I'm worried about the dance location. What is it that can hit Odin? Okay, that... I guess it's fine if Niles is up here. I don't know how he would, though. I don't know how we protect Azura in this scenario. Maybe... I turn off your ranges. Yeah, so like even this guy. It's just this guy can hit back here. So maybe maybe we actually don't dance for Niles. Maybe Wait, does this guy have lunge? Oh god, that's not good. And armored blow. With a tomahawk? Oh boy. I mean, I. Th will Arthur be able to take all of that? I mean, I guess he probably will. These guys don't do that much damage once she's paired into Effie. We've got to have Arthur in the lead because of the Armor Slayer. Well, I guess that would be. Hmm. One attack. Twenty one attack does not kill Azura. Does this guy have lunch? He doesn't. So I mean one thing we could do is just let this guy attack Azura, I suppose. Alternatively, if we're willing to just sort of YOLO it. There's no way Arthur's killing this guy is the problem. thinking about, like, what happens if I run back here and then run forward with Arthur, which effectively blocks his enemies, but... And I guess if Arthur sits here... But why would I even... I might as well just... Like I said, this guy doesn't have lunch. Yeah, if I have Niles unpaired, he should be taking the kill there, right? Like... 
If he attacks with the steel bow without the pair up, he's doing 13 times 2. If Elise is sitting next to him, that's 14. So I think that should be fine. Just the steel bow, transfer, Arthur. Uh, we could even pair Odin into him. Doesn't really give him any relevant stats. It would give him some accuracy. I wonder if I'm actually meant to make this attack. If this guy attacks first, they won't actually be able to... This guy back here won't actually be able to attack. Uh, Odin, or I mean, uh, Niles. Yeah, if anything, maybe I should dance. I should dance and leave Arthur where he is. But if I dance for Niles and then put him here... Yeah, I think that makes sense. Dance for Niles. And then I can, instead of pairing him up, put Odin here, put Niles here, put Elise here, and heal him. And then Arthur. So this guy has lunge. If he lunges Arthur to here, this guy still can't get through. They lunge twice. That still doesn't allow this guy to get through. So I think we just leave Arthur where he is. Oh, well, fine. Don't attack Niles. Be like that. Ow! Oh, fuck! What? No! I, I did not see that coming at all. Holy shit. Oh my god! I cannot believe that. What did I need to do differently there? I don't even know. I don't even know. I did not anticipate that. And because because this guy sealed Arthur's strength, he wasn't able to counter kill this guy, which allowed him to get lunged out. I mean, I guess this guy would have anyway, but maybe it was the other way around. I don't know. He no, but this, this guy is the guy he almost counter killed though. Oh, man. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> oh. I thought I had a good setup here. I really thought I had a good setup here. sucks. Over here... I don't know what whether I actually have the ability to deal with this or not. Honestly, probably not. I, I need to... I need to take less damage over here initially so that I'm don't have to waste so much time running away or whatever. It's like when I did move this group forward, it did trigger these guys like a little bit before I wanted 
the two and stuff. Um, though, although the, actually the real problem is the stupid javelin guys not being willing to attack Baruka. That's so frustrating. <laughs> And, like, I need the damage. I need the damage from Camilla to kill them. So, I don't even know. I don't even know how I set up those kills. Maybe I'm supposed to do it with Camilla. I'm not even sure that works. Like, I'm not sure that she does enough damage with Thunder. Yeah, it's, it's like Baruka actually has too much defense, which is stupid. But yeah, she's got the defense boost. I mean, I guess I could real quick test something here. So if we have... I mean, you are on Steel Axe now. I guess we don't need to necessarily so so yeah this is this is not enough damage Burka actually Burka's personal works when she's a the backing unit that's crazy because they're never attacking Baruka. Well, it's irrelevant here because it doesn't... They would be attacking Camilla, so it's not a good demonstration. Now, if we trade her the Steel Axe... Yeah, so that's still not enough damage. It's just... <laughs> Uh, I, yeah, like, <laughs> I can't get these jerks to actually attack in a way that's useful to me. <sighs> Maybe Kaze could do it, although it's hard to imagine him surviving two attacks that way with eight defense. 21 attack. He would get two defense from the mountains, so he'd have ten defense. I guess he would survive that um, with another point of defense from Camilla if she was the backing unit, which she probably would be. Um, would he actually deal enough damage? I don't know. Seven, so he'd be like doing like twenty. Um, wait, 20. Oh yeah, I guess the last time I was looking at this, he was paired up with somebody that gave him extra attack. Yeah, so 23. So he'd be doing 11 times two, and yeah, Camilla would definitely do enough damage. So probably that's what I should go for, putting Kaze up there on that turn. Okay, okay. And try that. Oh, man, I just... <laughs> Continue to be baffled by how difficult this chapter actually is, as opposed to how difficult it seems to be. All right, we're not... Gonna do that thing with Selena again. This time we're gonna leave Kaze in front. Oh, 
Oh, don't do that, Effie. Come on. died there, actually. That guy hadn't missed. I don't remember what type of lance that guy had. She dies with the javelin, so... Yeah. Is that always that much of a risk? I guess it must have been. I kind of want to just restart because of Effie anyway. Like, this, it's not even worth... It's not even worth trying to suss that out. I could just be putting Niles in front here, right? Because you get plus one movement from the pair up anyway. Oh, well. Alright, so... Evidently... Hmm... Evidently, Corrin does... here if she gets hit three times 105 100 if, uh what's not sure which of these guys is attacking first 22 25 22 except actually 21 Effectively has 14 defense. Has 13, 25, 12, 22 is 9, 11 is 21. Yeah, she does die if she gets hit three times. She's 44 void without taking any support bonus from like Camilla into account if she gets that or from Baruka um ah oh, screw it I mean I've seen it work so many times at this point I don't want to try to figure something else out See, it, the, the plan is perfect. Good. Ow! Oh my god. I she really does need that one defense from Camilla. Yikes. Okay. Well, I did actually like this plan. And then... Uh, I'm gonna go over here. I don't remember what I was supposed to do next. Uh oh Oh, God. I... I, I... <laughs> Oh, he crit. I shouldn't have hit the start button. No! No! Punished! No! <laughs> no! The first Odin crit of the, of the run, even counting restarts, and I, I skipped it. Oh, no! Why? Why did I do this? Why? Oh no. 
Uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five. So we can get all the way up there. I was thinking about... Actually advancing you like this. Not that it probably really matters, but... Since I can get all the way up there anyway... Okay, um, so if, so I'm pretty sure, I mean, I'm, I'm very sure that, you know, 16 times 9 were 1 damage short, and 16 times 7, and then it becomes 16 times 9 if we equip the Dragonstone, yeah. I think I said 16 times 7. Whatever. It, it's not enough damage. Um, so... If we... Do this... Oh, the problem is still... Oh, no, wait. If we do this, then Corn comes up here as 14 times 2, and that is a kill. Oh, but then Selena can't contribute, and we still have these two guys alive. Right, 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 right. Okay, so... Um... If we do this... We can get the kill that way. But I mean the fundamental problem is we need we need Camilla like here, but then Wait, no, that does work, right? Oh, no, wait, it's not here that we need her. It's, like, here or here, and that's the part that doesn't work. Right. Um... If we have Orin kill this guy, we can have Baruka plus Camilla kill these two guys, though. Oh, wait, I remember what the solution was. Orin kills this guy, or not, doesn't kill him, but attacks, and then Selena kills. Yeah. And Corrin gets her defense sealed for one more turn, but it doesn't really matter. make this attack supported, which doesn't matter. Okay. Would it matter with the Dragonstone? Seems unlikely. 20 attack into 7 res. No way. Um, so we go with this. Alright, 
now we want to... Let's see... Pair you up like this. Are we gonna wait a turn on these guys, or are we gonna go now? What we want, what I want to do is heal Camilla, transfer corn to her, and then have her drop corn onto here, which means that we need to be backing Selena with Baruka rather than um, rather than Camilla. And the question is, does that work? So you're not getting any para bonus. So you're doing twenty-seven. Minus fifteen is twelve, which is six, but we don't get the we don't get the plus three damage yet. I think I think the answer is we don't trigger this yet. avoid the situation we ran into last time where those guys advanced more aggressively. So I am going to separate here to get Effie those, those extra HP. good to do so, but I guess I'll do it once again. Okay. Um... I don't know, maybe... She, Selena is very nearly one-rounding. There maybe... 
with Baruka they could have done it, but whatever. Hard to say for sure. Alright, so... Still like this plan. Let's see, we got... Yeah, we got the opportunity to once again do the thing with Kaze. Which does require... You get the move plus one from that, so that works. You've got a hand axe, okay, so we're not... completely avoiding damage here. It's fine. Baruka can handle taking one point of damage. Alright, I would ideally... Want, want Camilla here. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna move Selena here and heal her. It would've been nice to take advantage of the, uh... thingy. Or, but whatever. Alright, here we go with this again. I think I meant to do it like this. Oh, wait, I want to heal Effie, though? Mmm. Mmm. That... I don't think I can heal Effie and... the least next to Arthur. And put Arthur on the mountain. Let's see how I would do that. Wait, well, and put Azura in range. I guess I could do it by moving Effie to here, switch... heal, dance from here. I guess that's probably... No, wait, no, that still doesn't work. I have to heal Effie before she moves. Yeah, okay, screw it. We'll just... We'll just heal Effie now. So that doesn't matter. Savage blow. Remake. Shot it too, anyway. Let's see if you can get it. Nope. Uh, what I, maybe I would rather give this to Arthur than to, uh, Get that level now. Hmm. That's a 
particularly relevant one. Okay. So, once again, we're in this situation. Um, and once again, I believe... We can't necessarily safely engage all these guys. Although, I might be underestimating how much I can get accomplished on this turn. Like, if I were to blast this guy into smithereens with Camilla, then I could probably have Selena and Camilla take out this guy. And then... I guess the question is how... I have to take out this guy. How would I do that safely? Like that. Okay. But then does Kaze take too much damage from this guy? And Baruka would be able to take out this guy. I guess it's possible, actually, that... No, no, somebody would be standing here. And we wouldn't be able to heal Kaze, would we? We could heal him before he moves, I guess. That... I mean, if that triggers these guys to move, that's going to be a problem. But if it doesn't, and it's not obvious why it should... It seems pretty good. It's too bad about her hit rate here. It's like a l just a little bit shaky and just a little bit short on damage. But I guess I guess that's just the situation. This guy's getting too shot. Yeah, so I think... Wait a minute. How was I supposed to kill this guy again? Oops. 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 I, what did I think I was doing here? Ah, oh, god damn it. Uh, I mean, I can certainly kill this guy at the cost of now all these guys aggro. Oh, no. Maybe that's still okay. I think we can't kill this guy. That's not good. Oh, I mean, that might work. And then we just have this guy alive. We should be noted as not a lunge user. to go into the woods with you, but how much does this heal for? 20%. So, four, I think it rounds down, so I think it's just 4 HP. Right. Yeah, you 
you're just gonna get... You're gonna get lunged to death, is the thing. That's what's gonna happen. I mean, I guess if you're standing in the woods, you're less likely to get lunged to death, but you still get lunged even if they miss. Man, why did I go for this? Why did I go for this? Why did I do it? Could have just not done it. I could have just not done it. But no. Right, you know what? I think going for this is the play. Because if I hit this, I think I can leave the other two alive safely. Now, I think what we need to do is Can we transfer and pair up? Because that's what I really want to do. Transfer Kaze into Celine uh, and then pair Corn into Jacob. I'm not sure if I can do that. Can do it. Okay, good. Yo, whoa! And they don't advance. Amazing. Uh, amazing. All right. Well, that did work out. Sure did. Okay. Um. Let's set up this business again. Pair you up. I guess there's no reason to wait on it. Is there? I would like to heal these two HP on Arthur. We can do that with Azura. Put him like here. I think that should be fine. You know what I could have done last turn? I could have popped this thing. I forget about it every time. Every time. Alright, if we want to be able to book it out of here, that's going to involve pairing up with Elise, probably. So let's put her, like, there. Um... And then over here, we want to heal Camilla and Selena. We can anticipate that these guys are going to start moving forward. Ideally, we would kill some of them, but as we know, that's kind of not possible. <laughs> um, the Javelin guys have as much reach as, as anyone. There's no, like, spot where we're... So, like, what if... The Javelin guys, even without the Baruka, or sorry, the Camilla support, they, they can't hurt Baruka because she's got 20 defense and they have 21 attack and then it gets knocked down due to weapon triangle. <laughs> it's actually so annoying. <laughs> um, so we've got the Kaze option. He will double. It's just like he gets, unless he, unless we know for sure he gets, ki he kills them, that he gets javelin to death, and that is a huge problem. Um, 
So with Camilla backing him, he gets up to 23 attack. Which is 11 times 2. Okay, I mean, that, that should work. 21 attack into him. The 9 defense. Yeah, well, it's okay. So it's... So it is at 9 defense. It's 21 minus 9. It's 12 times 2 is 24. Yeah, so he does not survive that. Uh, but he does survive 11 times 2 if he's in the woods. The question is, if we take off javelins where can we go we could go right here and that is in the woods they could choose to attack oh wait we need to kill this guy before we can even tell all right uh, uh um i mean baruka getting this kill would be fine yeah sure whatever Okay. So they can hit this spot. Oh, they can't hit further back. Okay, that's good. So what we want to do... Is Corrin injured? No. Okay, that's good. Do you, do I want to risk having Selena up here and then potentially getting her stuck in a position where I can't get out? I think it'll be okay, because I think... She can just pair into one of the flyers. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do... is... Kaze goes here. Selena's hurt too. Okay, maybe it makes more sense to he just heal Selena then. So Kaze goes here. Steal Shuriken. You. Okay, we need to. So it was 23. It's 12. So 11 times 2. We need 6 damage. Do you do enough with the Iron Axe? I would think so. We do 17. Yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna grab... Selena. Proper. Jacob is gonna heal her. I did not account for the pair-up attack. Luckily, he dodged. But I really should have accounted for that. Yeah, he would have totally died. He'd gotten hit one more time. Ugh. I'm so bad at this. If they would just attack freaking Baruka, it'd be fine. Okay, but now we do we did get them killed, even if I had to get lucky to do it. So let's grab uh, this guy. This guy will definitely attack Baruka. That's what we want him to do. Do four damage. Mo will drop that to three damage. Jacob will drop that to one damage. That's precisely the amount of damage we want him doing. Um, it's two damage. That's whatever. Because I'm thinking I want Camilla to come back here. Actually, I would really like Camilla to be the one on the fort, but I guess. Let 
Maybe I should be leading with Camilla because she would actually double. Hmm. That's no kind of a kill. I should have thought more about that. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Okay, here's what we'll do. This. And that. And then, oh, your heal staff is down to one? Well, so it goes. Oh, they changed their unit distribution a lot here. Well, this should be a lot better for me. Okay, we've got a javelin over here with seal strength, which is not good. Can we? This guy has extra defense. Um, and Odin unfortunately doesn't provide the right sorts of bonuses. What we could do is Javelin, Steel Lance, Javelin. If this guy can't reach that spot, unfortunately... Wait, what we could do is attack here, and Odin, we can dance for Odin, and then put him here. And then we can just go with the Iron Bow, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then... If this guy's dead... These two have the same reach. Okay, we can't really enemy phase with Arthur Effie, unfortunately, but I think that's okay. This guy doesn't have his javelin equipped, which is nice of him, because we can player phase him without taking damage next turn. Okay, so we're going to go here with you. Put Just put Elise on the fort. Get up here. Yeah, these are mountain tiles. Oh, Odin. Well. Okay, we got there. Fortunately, this guy does not have lunge. This guy has lunge, but that's actually okay. Right? Like... I guess the problem is that there's no real, there's no real benefit to it, trying to enemy phase him. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that makes sense. Ow. Well, they do enough damage. Hooray! Oh, oh, okay. We got the Wyvern splitting up. That's helpful. Alright, so now... We should, I would think... Hmm. 
What I really want to do is like have Effie come up, blast this guy, get danced, come up, and blast this guy. But the problem is this guy. I mean, she could blast this guy, but if this guy's alive, he comes up and kills Zura. Um, maybe... Oh, we do have these guys hanging out back here as well. Yeah, so the more sensible thing might be to pull back this way. Here. We can't. You know, we can't dance for Niles in a way that really helps, I don't think. We just do this. Player phasing this guy. Uh, let's see. We take off all three of your ranges. The problem is that the, these wyverns coming in are in range. We hand axe you. We do kill you on enemy phase at the cost of getting doubled by this guy, which is not really a big deal, to be honest. Actually, this guy can't... This is the only guy with lunge. If we go here, hit this guy... One, two, three, four, five, six... Yeah, okay, we can't do... We can't change to a non-ranged weapon. You surely cannot one-shot this guy, yeah. That doesn't help. Um, well, we could dance for Niles and have him come up and kill, but then I don't see how... That's not a kill. And Niles... Well, I guess Niles wouldn't get lunged into No, he would get lunged into range of the Wyverns by this guy, yeah. Ah, oh, we're really close to being able to do something cool here. If Niles, like, ran up here, killed this guy, and then we ran Effie up and killed this guy, then this guy would be the only one left. He wouldn't be able to kill Niles on his own, but he would be able to... Lunge him into range of the wyverns, who would then kill him. Disappointing. Um, and if Effie kills this guy, then she dies to the armor slayer and the hammer. Oh wait, there is no hammer over here. Okay, well, whatever. And Arthur can't one-shot anything. So it probably makes more sense, if anything... Like, this guy doubling Arthur for, like... Six damage is really not a big deal. Probably makes sense to go ahead and kill this guy. Uh, Effie actually has a higher hit rate, so I guess we dance for her. Like, it, it is fine for one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, if Azura's standing here, and this guy lunges Arthur... To here, like this guy still can't attack Azura. 
These guys can't attack. Yeah, that should be fine. These guys are not going to kill Arthur by any means. I guess the downside of doing it this way is if Effie misses, then we're like, then we're in real trouble. Because Arthur can't kill this guy and Azura can't safely dance. So it's probably incorrect to, even though we have the higher hit rated, we probably are supposed to attack with Arthur here. I suppose you could argue, in fact, that we're not even supposed to attack this guy now. We're just supposed to um, let him die on enemy phase. That's... Although, although, if we dance for Arthur, we dance for Arthur and move to here, that doesn't work, because then this guy can actually, that guy doesn't kill Azura, unless he's 23, ah, uh, he does kill Azura, he doesn't kill Azura if Elise is next to him, I guess. I was thinking about switching Arthur to his, the Ar Arthur's axe for the extra defense. He's actually this guy's actually doing five times two, for example. He'd still probably be fine. When you consider that he'll get some guard gauge and all that, but. What if I ran Arthur all the way up to here? That's a mountain tile, so that slows the guy down. But yeah, if this guy lunges through here, then this guy just runs past and kills Azura. Damn it! We just have to go for the... It's like... This guy's doing about 5 damage. I mean, it should be exactly 5 damage, but... Or 4 damage, depending on whether he uses the javelin or not, I suppose. Call it 5, so that's 15. This guy's doing... 8. That's 23. And then we've got... This guy... Okay, you're not actually going to be in range, right? Right. Not unless Arthur misses this guy and he gets lunged. You know, I guess another way to look at this is if that happens, that's an extra attack Arthur has to live anyway. Hmm. This guy would have 22 attack. I mean, if I have Elise behind Azura, she actually doesn't die. Right. right. Wait, but if this guy has lunge, this guy would be able to lunge Arthur out of the way and allow this guy in. We can't have that. We cannot have that. Oh, fur! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Now this guy kills Azura. Oh my god! Why does this keep happening? Maybe I should use the Enfeeble Staff. Or the Freeze. I just <laughs> cannot... Just hit things? Oh my god! 
think the Enfeeble Staff isn't going to cut it, because, like, if this guy attacks Azura, he lunges her into range of the other enemies. Just, just hit the frickin' 90s! Oh my god! Is so <laughs> unbelievable. Just like, like I really don't want to use the freeze staff because it's. Oh wait, it's the rescue that's irreplaceable, not the freeze. Okay, okay, okay. Using the freeze is fine. on a previous thing. I guess the last time I, I got taken off guard at, at, uh, during the enemy phase, it wasn't a player phase thing. Okay, so... This guy does have more attack range than this guy. We could... Do like Selena, Camilla down in range of just this guy. Right? Like put her here, here, put Camilla here, sort of thing. Um, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Somebody here, probably. Almost really juicy. One more square. Oh man, you with Camilla would be able to kill that guy. Mm. Can we set that up? I don't know if we can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're here, and Camilla's here. What is it that can attack down here? The tomahawk guy? Yeah, I don't want that. I don't want that. What if we just do Selena and Baruka down here? It's probably not enough damage, right? 8 times 8 is 16. Yeah, there's no way. Not even with the Steel Axe, I wouldn't imagine. I mean, granted, this guy living isn't like the end of the world. Uh, huh. Another option. How much damage is Camilla doing to the Tomahawk guy with her tome? Almost enough to kill. The issue is that nobody is going to be overcoming 25 defense when you account for armored blow. Uh, probably. Actually, Baruka is. So what we could do, uh, we need to check, so you're taking 8 damage from this guy, 
It's not too bad. And ten. Okay, so you live that. Although not if they attack together, but they shouldn't be able to attack together because one should move in and die, and then the other one should move in. Uh, and this guy's too far away. So, thinking about here is, yeah, Camilla plus Baruka. I guess we should double check. I mean, probably they have the same stats. 27, 3 res, 27, 3 res. Okay, yeah, so Camilla with the Thundertone. Take out these two Wyverns. With Baruka backing her, and then if we can set it up where this guy is coming around the corner and running into Corrin, who's standing next to Camilla. Uh, although I guess the issue that with that, oh no, Camilla has a much higher super level with Baruka. Cool, that works. Okay. Um, okay, so what we want to do is make sure we're at the edge of these guys' is, 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 is range. Or specifically at the edge of this guy's range, I suppose. So we do that. Here. And then we should be able to... You here... You here. God. I don't know if that would have killed. It sure would have been unpleasant. What does Luna do exactly? Nor half of defense. Okay. So he would have taken an extra, like, 8 damage. I guess he would have been fine. Okay, we really want to get Niles over and into this, but I don't know. I mean. Well, we, I guess we could just pair him into Elise, and then Elise can run over here. And if we do that, if we we could have Odin kill this guy, and then Effie kills this guy, and then I think Arthur should be able to kill this guy. Yeah. So... Is it possible that Niles doesn't kill Percy safely and then he dies in the counterattack? That does seem possible. That does seem possible now that I look at it. Uh, so he's going to be doing extra 22. So he's going to be doing 47. Which is enough to kill. By a little bit. And we can also potentially swap to Effie for a little bit more damage. If we need to. Which we shouldn't need to.
I guess we can put Azura on the mountain in case that helps. You don't actually need this steel lance, although I guess it doesn't really matter. But... It's a little dicey, for sure. Arthur can't... Oh, you know... Well, no, I guess we have to kill Percy. We can't intimidate him into fleeing. Um... He doesn't... Oh, he does double Percy. It's 71 to hit, though. Versus... 73. Hmm. It's gotta be better to go with Niles. E7, 92. Oh, we can't switch to... Mm. I was thinking I would be able to have... Is the condition on this defeat us or route? I think it's route. Okay. Um, I was thinking I'd be able to, to get a, an assist here, but now I'm realizing, no, I cannot do that because... Oh god, we gotta take another shot like this. <laughs> um, I, mean, I guess we could try popping the dragon vein and see what happens, but I'm not. I don't feel too confident about how that's gonna go. For what it's worth, Percy actually probably can't kill Azura because she's on the mountain. She has 24 effective HP plus defense, and he has. I mean, I guess he has 24 attack. Maybe he can kill her. Like, I could just... He has 23 attack with the... the axe, but then I... It's 24 with weapon triangle. Uh... <laughs> and I don't know whether this would actually work or not. Oh, man. <laughs> it's like... We could, you know, kill this guy, pop this one, get these two out of here, and then kill this guy. I, I suspect we would be capable of doing all of that. Oh, man. Um... Okay, you've got to be able to kill this guy, right? Yeah. This is the other Worm Slayer guy. I should have saved Kaze for that. I think Baruka 3 speed actually lets her one round this Wyvern. Or lets her double it anyway. I guess not actually one round. Unless, oh no, that doesn't work. Um, yeah. 
Suppose you can't double that guy. Oh boy. Here we go again. You can one round this guy. Okay. And then. stand here, and then we can get... a supported attack on this guy. So I should have stood here if I was going to have Camilla use her tome, and then I would have been able to get a supported attack with Brute. I'm an idiot. Oh, god damn it. I just like. Uh, it would have actually been better to stand here, hit him from here, then Camilla attacks from here, kills this guy, and then Baruka hits this guy from here with Camilla's support. Um, great. Now we have to. I mean, you definitely could kill here, and if you do, then maybe... No, there's no way... And yeah, I would have had the support from Jacob if you would to do it the other way as well, blah blah blah. Ay-yi-yi-yi-yi-yi-yi! Is doing it wrong. I have no way to get get Selena involved in a way that is relevant. I mean, with three speed, yeah, you're not doubling. Um, you're not doubling this guy. You are doubling this guy, but you're not doing enough damage. so stupid! Why did I think that that made sense? Why did I think it? Why did I think it? And even if I go and pop this thing, I still don't have a good way to kill this guy. Dumb. I, I mean, he's not gonna kill anyone on my turn. The, it, the, the issue is... Well, I guess the issue is I have to make this... 73% chance to hit attack anyway. Maybe, or maybe I don't. I don't really know. <laughs> so, maybe I could intimidate Percy into fleeing. You wouldn't think so, right? Because he's like the boss, but. I guess we're gonna click this button and see what happens. Okay, we got him. Thank God. Okay, now that I know that, I am more inclined to just make sure that this guy doesn't kill anyone um and take another turn to finish him off 
Like, he's not gonna, like, one-shot anyone. He's not going to... kill anybody who's injured. So really, all that we need to do... doesn't really matter, I guess, if Camilla takes damage here. Oh, she doesn't even take damage from this guy. Alright, whatever. Then let's just, let's just have her kill this guy. And we'll just put Garuka... This guy doesn't have a range weapon, right? Yeah, we'll put Veruca here. We'll put Selena here. <laughs> wow, that was that was some super optimal damage spreading. All right, I guess. How much do I care about getting at least a little bit of XP? I don't think I care. Um, I might even, I might even early promote her. I think I actually have a master seal, which may have made the usage of which might have made this chapter a little bit easier. Hmm. But all right. Uh, who, who do we want to give this kill to? Oh, we should get Jacob some XP. kills. I don't actually want him to do that. <laughs> no! He doesn't have a heal staff. Good thing. I guess you could probably kill as well. You don't. All right, you attack. I'm gonna give the kill to Baruka. Right, let's get her some... ...support. I didn't even deserve to beat it this time, not really. Kaze should have died. Oh my god. Oh my god. But, but, deserves got nothing to do with it, as they say. And we have defeated Paralog 19 with great heroism, finally. All right, well, that'll obviously do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I will be back next time with probably chapter 12 conceivably another paralogue but i doubt it um between the way this one the fact that i have or the, the other one does have promoted enemies the other one that i have unlocked or maybe there's two but anyway they have promoted enemies and the fact that um i don't think i'm anywhere close to unlocking another one uh means i expect we will be doing chapter 12 either way until then